Top 10 Richest People in Cryptocurrency 2021 Number 1. Satoshi Nakamoto, $58.5 billion Well, we don't know for sure who the creator of Bitcoin is, whether he's still alive, or whether he's even a he. Many potential candidates have been discussed, yet the person who set this whole runaway crypto train in motion remains as mysterious and elusive as ever. Satoshi first put forward the idea for Bitcoin in a white paper of 2008, as the world struggled to come to terms with what the big banks had been up to in the lead-up to the financial crash. Back in its early days, Bitcoin could be mined on a normal, everyday computer, a far cry from the vast and power-consuming mining farms of today. Whole Bitcoins were worth just a few cents, which explains why one early adopter used 10,000 of them to buy two Papa John's pizzas back in 2010. The price of Bitcoin didn't do much at first. In 2010 one trader tried to auction of 10,000 BTC for the princely sum of $50. Nobody took him up on the offer, which would have netted a buyer half a billion dollars just over a decade later. It wasn't until 2013 that the price of BTC started to seriously heat up. It seems unlikely that we'll ever learn what became of Satoshi and who he really was. If he is still alive then you have to admire his restraint. Not touching a stack that would make you one of the richest people on the planet shows remarkable self-control. Either that or he's forgotten the password. Number 2. Sam Bankman Fried, $10 billion. There's quite a gap between Satoshi and the next crypto billionaire on our list, though this one is at least around to enjoy his newfound wealth. Sam Bankman Fried only completed his degree at mid in 2014, before setting up liquidity provider and trading company Alameda Research three years later. SBF, as he is often known, then went on to set up the FTX exchange two years after that and is also the founder of the Serum Decentralized Exchange for good measure. All these achievements would be impressive if they were spaced out over a long career. Yet SBF is not yet 30, and already one of the most well-respected and influential figures in crypto. And also one of the richest. Both Alameda and FTX are big players, the latter being the sixth largest exchange in the world with a $3.5 billion valuation and an expected turnover of $400 million for 2021. Number 3. Brian Armstrong, $6.5 billion. Armstrong is the co-founder and CEO of Coinbase, one of the largest and most popular crypto exchanges in the world and many investors' entry point into crypto. He began his career as a software engineer working for the likes of IBM, Deloitte and Airbnb, before teaming up with former Goldman Sachs trader Fred Asim in 2012 to develop Coinbase. Coinbase launched in October 2012 in San Francisco. It grew rapidly and was valued at $8 billion in 2018, when it secured $300 million in a financing round. Like many other online businesses, it has seen its revenues go through the roof as a result of the pandemic, and reported $1.14 billion of revenue for 2020. Coinbase's listing on the Nasdaq exchange will be a big moment for the crypto space. One of its biggest brands is reaching across the divide to embrace the world of more traditional finance, and its success or otherwise will be a major factor in whether or not other big-name crypto companies decide to follow its example. Number 4. Vikrijan, $3.2 billion. Next up on our crypto-rich list is one of the more enigmatic and less well-known figures to feature here. Not a lot is known about Mikrijan, who together with Wu Jihan set up Bitmain, the largest manufacturer of cryptocurrency mining chips, and other hardware in the world. Zhang was born in Fujian, China in 1979 and studied electrical engineering at Shandong University, before taking a master's degree in microelectronic engineering from the Chinese Academy of Sciences in 2004. Zhang and Wu set up Bitmain in 2013 and the company was well-placed to capitalize on the crypto boom which came along afterwards, reporting revenues of $2.5 billion in 2017. Things appear to have turned sour after that however, with Jan and Wu struggling for control of the company, and Jan being ousted in 2019. He was eventually able to buy enough company shares to make himself the majority shareholder and reclaim his position as CEO. Number 5. Chris Larson, $2.8 billion. The Ripple co-founder has been much in the news of late, as both he and company CEO Brad Garlinghouse are named as defendants in the lawsuit brought by the SEC last December. It is alleged that both Larson and Garlinghouse sold $1 billion worth of XRP without registering it as security. Both Larson and Garlinghouse face being forced to return the proceeds of any XRP they sold, as well as the prospect of multi-million dollar fines, if Ripple loses the case when it goes to trial later this year. His net worth took a big hit when the price of XRP tanked following the end of the 2017 bull market. Though he remains a wealthy man, albeit with much of his wealth tied up in a token that faces an existential threat from the sex lawsuit. 
If Ripple loses the case, which many observers seem to think it will, then Larson's net worth could take a severe blow, especially if XRP is unable to survive the fallout. Having scaled the heights of crypto-based wealth, he could find himself one day plumbing some previously unthinkable lows. Number 6. Ching Peng Zhao, $2.1 billion. Another Uber wealthy crypto exchange founder to make our list is perhaps the best known of them all. Binance CEO Ching Peng Zhao, better known as CZ, saw the exchange he founded become a market leader just a few months after it launched in 2017. After a stint in Japan, the exchange was registered in Malta, with its ever growing staff working remotely from across the world. The road has been rocky, especially in the wake of a major hack in 2019. But Binance is now safely ensconced as one of the biggest names in crypto, with expected profits of around $1 billion for 2020. After initially falling flat, BNB has soared in value over the past year, with a market cap behind only Bitcoins and Ethereums. As Binance staff are reportedly all paid in BNB, it's not surprising to see CZ taking his seat in the Billionaire's Club Lounge. Number 7. Michael Saylor, $1.9 billion. Next up is one of the most passionate and outspoken Bitcoin bulls around, who can be relied upon to talk up the digital gold at the drop of a hat. It wasn't always such a cozy relationship though. In a 2013 tweet, Michael Saylor opined that Bitcoin's days were numbered and the project would soon sink without trace. Fast forward eight years and he's changed his tune somewhat, calling it, I couldn't have put it better myself. Saylor is the CEO of software firm MicroStrategy, which made the headlines last year when it became one of the first large corporations to start adding BTC to its treasury. It now holds nearly $4.5 billion of BTC and Saylor hasn't been shy about picking up some for himself either. He reportedly holds nearly 18,000 of his own, quite apart from his stake in MicroStrategy. Saylor has had his ups and downs over the years, with an sec investigation into MicroStrategy's finances helping to wipe out a great deal of his fortune, though the company ultimately survived the hit to its share price. Saylor was also criticized at times for his lavish and louch lifestyle, which saw him spend more time on his yacht than in the office. Number 8. Jihan Wu, $1.8 billion. And so to Mikri Jian's one-time partner at Bitmain, who holds a smaller stake in the company 20% as opposed to Jian's 36% but still shouldn't be complaining too much about his lot in life. Wu was born in Chongqing, China in 1986 and graduated from Peking University in 2009, having studied economics and psychology. It was his discovery of and subsequent interest in cryptocurrency which prompted him to approach Jian about setting up Bitmain, which grew to become the largest producer of mining chips in the world. Number 9. Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, $1.6 billion each. The Winklevoss twins will perhaps always be best known as the nemeses of Mark Zuckerberg, who they successfully sued for stealing their idea for Facebook. Contemporaries at Harvard, Zuckerberg and the so-called Winklevi both claim to have had the original idea for the platform that the Zuck went on to build. After being awarded a hefty $65 million worth of Facebook stock, the Winklevi sold much of it and invested the profits into BTC when it was trading at around $100. As well as a venture capital firm, the twins are also the owners of the Gemini Crypto Exchange, which operates in the US, Canada, UK, South Korea, Hong Kong and Singapore. Users are able to buy crypto assets through the platform, which also provides custodial services to HOD lures. The exchange currently has a daily trading volume of around $200 million. Number 10. Barry Silbert, $1.5 billion. The last spot on our list goes to someone who, at a mere 17 years old, became the youngest person ever to qualify as a stockbroker in the US. Barry Silbert's first foray into business involved selling baseball cards while still at school, though it's safe to assume that he no longer has much time for that particular line of work. After a stint as an investment banker, Silbert set up a number of projects, including Second Market, which allowed companies to trade illiquid assets. After hearing about Bitcoin in 2012, he switched his focus to crypto, and is responsible for two of the biggest investment vehicles in the space, Grayscale Investments and Digital Currency Group DCG.